Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. Um, today we're going to speak a little bit about some of the new all grip products. And um, uh, my name is uh, Simon Crawford from uh, Marineware, and uh, we've also got joining us uh, Richard Jennings and um, uh, from Axo Nobel. Say hi, Rich. Hi, everyone. And also joining us is uh, Chris from Marineware. Um, Chris is going to be uh, answering your questions. Uh, say hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. So first of all, Rich, just um, uh, introduce you. You are the global technical manager for for, for all grip Axo Nobel. Um, and it's uh, great to have you here with us today, I have to say, Rich, because um, I know you spend a lot of time traveling the world. So thank you for your time today. Before we go any further, let's just quickly go over what we're talking about. First of all, we're going to talk about SE. Now we talk about new products, but SE is uh, our solid effects system. And it's um, it's been around for a little while, but we're learning new stuff with it all the time. And I'm going to show you some examples. So we're going to talk about that for a little bit. We're then going to talk about um, our quick build system, which is a new primer that's out, which is quick, funny enough. Um, moving on to that, we've got a new filler out, All Fair FL, um, which, which we're going to have a quick chat about. HDT top coat, which has been used in anger at the moment out there, but, um, but is still very new to us. And a couple of new things on the color matching world. So without a further delay, um, let's go straight into talking about uh, our SE system. But um, it's been around for a little while, as we mentioned. Um, Rich, can you tell us a little bit more about the different types of SE that are available? Yeah, so I mean, SE basically is a, a base coat and clear system, Simon. So that's the essence of what it is. It's a, a base colour followed by a clear coat over the top. But within that, we have a metallic. So you're seeing that on the screens in front of you now. Um, so if I talk a little bit about that as we go through, but the metallic primarily is made up of a, a base colour with an aluminium flake within that colour. So that's what gives you that really sparkly, pretty effect and that sort of bling factor on a, a nice sunny day. Am I right in saying that those metallic, those metallic flakes, those, uh, those aluminium flakes, they all line up together? Is that right? Well, do you know what? It's, it's an interesting one because if we were in a classroom, I'd probably pick on someone when we were playing with metallics and, and give someone a push and, and show them that we have a lot of influences, the painter, because whatever direction we spray, that's the way the metallic flake will flop and fall. So that it is true to say that they sit in the film and there's an element of flop control within the base coat. But we as the applicator have a massive influence as to how that looks and how that sits, because if you appreciate it, it is a solid piece of aluminium. So that reflects the light much like a mirror, which is why you get that beautiful sort of shiny blingy effect. OK, and we, we also have the, the, the pearl, which um, I think quite often the two get confused. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the pearl? Yeah, so pearl again, a two stage or even three stage system. Um, and let's talk about the two stage initially. So we just talked about the metallic where we have a base color with the effect in it and then the clear coat. With the pearl, we have exact, exactly the same, but what we're doing is we're removing the metallic aluminium flake and introducing a mica flake, which is effectively like a translucent small, I, I guess for me, the easiest way to describe it is almost like a crystal. So it sits within the paint film, allowing the light to go through it and then reflect back out. So it's actually a lot less challenging than applying a metallic because you can't really lay that flake down incorrectly. And then there's a lot of um, three stages out there as well, normally with a white color. And this is where you would lay down the base white first, followed by a mid coat, which is your effect, your pearl effect. And then you would have your clear coat over the top. So just to go back over that, we have two pearl versions. We have a three stage in the white and a two stage in other colors. And, and I hear that quite often in the automotive world, what we think is metallic is actually pearl because it's, it's it's an easier finish in some instances to get. Is, is that correct? Yeah, this is one of those things where people say, oh, it might, you know, it's metallic or and they, they're not really fully understanding what the effect uh, pigment in the paint is. So with a, a Mika or a pearl, it's this sort of crystal like sort of section that goes in the paint, if you like, where a metallic is the aluminium flake itself. So there is a confusion definitely in the industry, whether people are looking at a pearl or a metallic. What I would say is that a pearl 
when it's out of the the bright sunlight is is quite flat in its tone and the way it looks and looks like a solid color and it's only when you put a light on it that it really shows that sort of sparkly effect where you will when you look closely at a metallic see the metal flakes still within the the paint film okay so and the um we 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 using the pearl on nav equipment and things is there a reason for that oh that's a good one I missed mm -hmm. that didn't i sorry mm -hmm. yeah no nav equipment is a great example metal flake in a se the metallic actually can affect the signal so any nav gear we recommend using the mika or the pearl paint color so there's a lot of colors out there that we already have a match in the pearl so we're able to do nav gear and that sort of equipment you know we don't want people getting lost out there i think i've got a picture in a minute of a of a radome with covered in metallic but there's a different reason for that but we'll go into that in a second but uh, um and last one in the range is the solid uh richard what what, what, are, what are we using that for okay well solid again is uh, a two-stage so it's a solid color with a clear coat over the top and if I can talk about, you're going to get this with, with me on the phone, you know that and doing these sort of things. But the positives of this are, you know, the repairability. Um, it's a really great product, SE. It, it, it allows that sort of effect to be applied down in the first coats of paint to make it look aesthetically right. And then you're applying the clear over the top. So there are even advantages in just solid colours uh, in repairability, maintenance, all of those sort of things. And we have, you know, really good sort of um, protection from that barrier of barrier of clear that we put over the top. We've got a couple of customers, I think, that are using those classically difficult to cover colours like uh, yellow and red and orange and things like that, and they're they're using it. I think they're they're finding that they're, that it it does cover a little bit better, but it's much the same. But it's so fast that they can whiz around with several coats and get the coverage, and uh, they're finding that pretty useful on the solid range. So. Uh, um, uh, I've I put a we've put a couple of videos together just to show you a few things um, of um, uh, what's what's uh, uh, this is this is a custom a custom coatings just down the road who's just putting a um, uh, a first coat metallic base coat on a on a uh, on a yacht down in uh, in Hamble I think that is uh, so um, uh, so just to show people what it looks like on the first coat uh, but uh, you can see the guys are, are, are just quite fluid with the gun but it's, it's 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 not that much different actually in the first coat is it than just putting any other solid color down rich no it's not i mean it's it's very similar i think when we talk about metallics and bits there's a more of a technique that goes into it but it's what what's interesting is with the solid color you're asking it to do everything in in one coat give it the the protection the uv the color the the effect the beauty of base coats and clears is you're able to split that up so you can concentrate on making it look right and then add in the gloss and luster at a later date um, here's another image, actually another local boat, um, but uh, this is a, um, a six meter modern um, and it's um, uh, it's just been finished in the SE base coat system uh, again by a local company, Desti there. Um, but um, that's literally just been launched is a smart looking machine, that one, that's for sure. And yet another one, there's a princess just coming out of the shed. Um, she was in gel coat, she's been put into a light, uh, fine uh, SE silver, um, also looking pretty good. Um, just to say, uh, I mentioned the radome that we put metallic on. This is a radome with metallic on it. Interestingly, this was a test panel for a, an architectural project, so that it was not, we, we weren't using it as a radome at all. We were trying out some different effects, and this is a, a gold effect, a gold metallic with a with a solid black over the top, and then they they scratched it to give it some uh, an effect on it. And this was for a uh, cafe in Hyde Park called Serpentine. Here's a few images of her. Um, now you can see that she's uh, she's they, they repeated that effect on the actual cafe. Uh, she's got some quite beautiful. She's designed to look like a, a ray. Uh, the, the whole roof is designed to look like a ray, and um, uh, yeah, it's quite a dramatic effect. She's actually sat in. They used actually HDT, which we're talking about a little bit later because for UV. But she was scotch brighted back to a satin to continue that scotch bright effect. So that was a bit of fun. Um, we also at Marine where we do uh, spray seminars, in this case the advanced spray seminar where we spend a lot of time with metallic repairs and all sorts of things, but we actually uh, print out some uh, everyone's logos and we do a panel with some logos and the idea is we can have a bit of fun, we can use the solids and the, and the metallics and the pearls and we can mix them together and do all sorts of things and um, it's there to, to, to do gun control, but it, it's also also 
shows how fast the system is and how useful it is. Uh, what, where, what, give us an example, Rich, of how you see the speed, uh, the speed of drying of the SE helps us in, in real time application rather than just mucking about like we are here. Yeah, well, I, I guess, I mean, your seminars are always great, Simon, and, and, and what you're showing there actually is we, we did this all in one paint shoot. So the example in the middle with the fades and the colours, these are multiple colours in one application. And so the true really positive of this product is if you took a conventional top side and then you wanted to spray that white and then you wanted to apply say a boot line in uh, in a dark blue for instance you'd have sort of three four days of doing that process with drying times and those sort of things the beauty of se is that we have if we talk and this is we have to be careful with this depending on film thickness and temperatures but if we set it 23 degrees degrees with conventional um temperatures We've got a tape time of about an hour. So what that means is we can apply multiple colours in one day and then clear coat over the top. So you'd, you'd be able to put that sort of hull in white and a blue boot line all in one paint shoot rather than taking you over a couple of days. So it's a, it's a, a real good thing for speed. Um, and there's some really nice advantages that have come out of this as well. And this is where people sort of French in the, the, the boot lines and what they're doing is they're they're covering a whole load of clear and then they're sanding and re-clearing and you're losing that transition line between the different colours, which just adds to the, the aesthetics. It makes it easier to, for people to clean. There's no edges for, for soot and bits to hang up on. So there's a lot more advantages just to how it looks. It's the, the whole effect and aftercare and and all of those things that maybe we don't always consider for the end user. Well, you can tell we're showing off a little bit here, but you can tell who's the artist amongst us because uh, uh, Richard there did the panel on the left with the all grip with the smoke and the sparkles and the and, and the wood effect behind it. And uh, I did the Marineware one just with a stencil uh, uh, on its own. Actually, the, the, the Marineware one's just a solid base coat, solid colour, and that's just a pearl over the top. Um, yeah, that camera angle picks it up quite things, but it's actually quite a subtle effect. But uh, but there's not a lot of skill in mine. I've just gone round. Uh, I've just gone round a, 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 a transfer and uh, Rich has been doing the uh, special effects on the other side. So uh, um, there you go. Um, uh, Chris, uh, have we got any questions reference the SE system? Hello. Uh, yeah, the, the first question about SE is uh, is the SE base and clear system easier to repair than solid all craft and can you repair the metallics? The short answer, Chris, is yes. I mean, it's probably a whole separate subject on this, but um, we have specific repair products with a new grip range, so we're able to repair our SE systems. But in true terms, being able to blend the colour out and then blend the clear allows us to have an easier process to make a repair. So if we take SE as a range using either Allcraft 2000 clear coats or the HDT clear coat, they are both repairable without taped edges. I, th I think I think we we obviously cover the repairs in our advanced spray course, and um, um, but the um, uh, I think we're, we're Richard, we're talking about doing one of these webinars just on on the repair system uh, with some videos. So bear with us a little bit, and we'll get the repair system uh, we'll get the repair system out there. We'll do a webinar just on that. I think because uh, it's a uh, it's quite a big subject, isn't it? So uh, yeah, that yeah, would be absolutely. good to do. Um, Chris, you had some more there, I think. Uh, yeah, and, and another question that came in uh, SE Metallics, more of a practical question. What pressures are you dropping base coat on with? Because uh, they're getting greys that are very patchy, greys and silvers that are fairly patchy. OK, so without going into the whole um, sort of repair scenario and talking about how it works, the the cloudiness, if you look at a spray gun when it operates and you just spray it in the air and, and slow it down, that you're not going to be able to do that ridiculous thing to say, but that you, you'll see the cloudiness in the paint. Um, and, and what happens a lot, people do their sort of orientation or drop coat on a dry base and they dust it on to orientate the flake left to right, up and down diagonally. So they sit nicely, but they're making it look cloudy. What you want to do, uh, Chris, is do that drop coat while it's still wet. So uh, th there's there's no rudeness in what I'm saying, but you know, drop drop the drop the coat while it's wet because it it helps the the metallic flake sit in there and and flop and look right. And I hope people are understanding that. So doing the painter's shuffle, if my if my reach of my arm is about a meter, what I want to do is paint three sections, and then I want to drop back. Um, reduce my gun pressure maybe by half a bar and then I do my orientation coat on that that 
first two sections. Then I move forward, paint another three, uh, sorry, another two, drop back, orientate two. So I'm doing this sort of flip flop as I'm going down the boat. So we we don't put stripes and runs in the can. Sadly, that's us as the applicators that have a big bearing on it. But there are definitely ways we can make it easier for ourselves in maybe changing solvents to slow the product down, increasing the solvent in the SE. We can go up to 80 percent. So there's lots of things that we can do. Whole nother, whole nother course, whole nother conversation. Uh, I could talk for hours and I'd, I'd love to help all you guys out if I can, uh, if we can put anything together, Simon, really. I, don't I, know I, it. I think the saddest thing about that bit, Rich, is that I can see you and these guys can't. And while yeah. you were explaining all those cross coats and gun coats, you were dancing around your hedge end offices like no tomorrow. And I'm very sad that everyone missed that. It's my, it's my, <laughs> it's my painter's shuffle, everyone. Was like, I, was going, I was going through the motions. I look like a conductor, I think. But yeah, very, very passionate about this. So um, very passionate about lots, it. Lots of information about techniques. So please give us a call.